channel, my name is Violet. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is going to be a comparison between the Bugaboo Donkey in mono configuration and the Bugaboo Donkey in duo configuration. I've been using the Bugaboo Donkey for a couple of years now, on and off, with my children. I started with my baby when she was about six months old and my son was two years old at that time. So the perfect time to be getting a stroller that transforms from single to double mode. And you know what? I have used it both ways and I am confident I can give you some insights as to whether or not this would be a good purchase for you. Okay, so first let's talk about the Bugaboo Donkey in mono mode. This thing is incredible. If you have one child and you have the Bugaboo Donkey, there are a whole bunch of things you're going to love about it, all right? First thing, you've got lots of storage for the diaper bag. You don't expect this, but once you have a child, you have a lot of gear with you. So if you're smart, your purse becomes your diaper bag and everything goes together. But if you like to keep your things separate, then you are toting around a lot of gear. And that makes simple errands extremely difficult. So the Bugaboo Donkey in mono mode is awesome. There's a great big basket in the bottom, and there's this little basket in the side where you can store whatever knickknacks and things you want to bring with you. No stress, no fuss, no muss. I absolutely love the basket. The second thing you're going to notice about the Bugaboo Donkey in mono mode is that it steers and drives like a dream. It is so light and easy breezy to get through and around wherever you need to be. It is the same width as the Bugaboo Chameleon, so the Bugaboo Donkey in mono mode is awesome. I live in Calgary and in the winter there's tons of snow and ice on the ground. You know, I loved my Bugaboo Bee, but it could not face the snow and the ice and the slush the same way that the donkey does. However, I will say I've replaced two inner tubes with my Bugaboo Donkey and that's really annoying. I'm so glad for the donkey too that they went ahead and changed to the foam tires. That was an excellent choice. So if you have the option to get the newer donkey, I would definitely do it just for the tire upgrade because oh my goodness. Very annoying to try and get those changed. The third thing you'll love about your Bugaboo Donkey, the canopies are so great, offering full coverage for your kids, and in the mono mode, it's no different, it's perfect. The seat is spacious, it's comfortable, it's stylish. You've got a safe five point harness, which you can release just by pushing the white button. Do you like this stroller? Yeah. Why do you like the stroller? I love it. You love it? Love it. Yes. Do you like it with the basket or with the other seat? Okay, let's put the other seat on, okay? okay. Bugaboo Donkey is a great stroller as a single. It's a wonderful way to begin your child rearing experience. It's so easy. All you have to do is use the white buttons to operate and I've found no problems whatsoever figuring out how to do it. It is so sturdy. You can't destroy this thing. It is built to last and I'm an incredibly clumsy person. So whenever I get something in my life, it has to be tough enough to withstand the abuse that I'm going to give it, okay? I will say though, I do not like how the Bugaboo Donkey folds. It's just a little too finicky, and by that I mean you push the button and you go to do it, and it's got to all be locked in the correct position or it's not gonna fold for you. So you might have to fuss and push and shimmy things and then make sure everything's just right to get it to fold down. Whereas I found with my Bugaboo B, everything just kind of slipped into place and boom, it folded itself. The Bugaboo Donkey requires a little bit more work, which makes it less ideal for things that require car trips. If you're like me and you love strolling around the neighborhood and going for lots of long walks just by your house, I say Bugaboo Donkey in mono mode is great. If you have one baby, perfect. You will be so glad you've got that side basket. If you have a Bugaboo Donkey mono, that means you're going to have a lot of fun with your one kid and a lot less stress trying to gather things around. Now let's compare the Bugaboo Donkey in mono mode and the Bugaboo Donkey in duo mode. This is a super important comparison. Are you going to be able to get through doors? Of course you are. The Donkey in duo is designed to fit through doors. However, don't stick the cup holder on the side or that thing's going to go flying off and the mono is much easier to manage getting inside and outside of doors. If you're at the grocery store, you know what, it's gonna be fine, but you're gonna be wishing it was in mono mode because there's the possibility you might bump into something. It is a side-by-side -side double stroller, and I don't think you could get much narrower than what they've done here. Gotta bear in mind what you're getting in terms of maneuverability. You are losing in terms of narrowness. So of course the mono is much easier to deal with. But you know you have two kids and they're small. You need to be able to strap them down and this stroller is great because when you have your two children you can adjust the seats to face different directions. You know you can change it into mono mode and baby wear the other one if, if child's having a bad day. 
What is so important to realize is when you have children, you want your gear to do what you need it to do. So having gear that is super adaptable and configurable like this is awesome. You just need to make sure you learn how to use it and know what you need in a situation and be ready to adapt and think quickly. Because, you know, what's working for one minute with a six month old won't work tomorrow when she turns seven months old. And your toddler might decide that toddler really, really wants to walk, but then you realize you've gone on a four kilometer walk and he's not gonna make it. So so if you have the option to stick them in a stroller, beautiful. Okay, so pros with the Bugaboo Donkey in duo mode, you're gonna find that you've got two kids now and you still can keep your stroller. You're gonna be very happy that this one works as well as it does. There is no other double stroller I've ever used that is as easy to push and is lightweight. However, the 10 inch wheels in the front aren't as good as the Bumble Ride in D Twin. They are a little bumpier when you go up a curb, so you just have to be careful not to nail that thing or you're gonna go flying. Many other Bugaboo strollers, the handlebars adjust, and it doesn't matter whether you're in single, in mono or duo mode, you're gonna have an easy time either way. If I was thinking about whether or not I should get the Bugaboo Donkey for the mono configuration, and have the possibility for a future duo, I would definitely get it. I wouldn't even worry about the fact that I'm probably only gonna have one kid and say, well, I should just get the single one because the basket on the side makes it completely worth it as far as I'm concerned. I really love having that organization right there in front of me when I'm out and about, when I'm shopping. It's perfect. I don't need to get a shopping cart when I'm at the grocery store. I just stick everything in the side basket. Mileage may vary, and I have to say that if you're gonna be investing this much in a stroller, you really want to know if you're going to be able to use it. You need to really assess your life and see if you realistically will be using it every day. I didn't like driving, I just walked everywhere and I had my kids and I continued to walk everywhere. I'd walk and I'd use the train, so, so. I, I'd walk to the grocery store, I'd walk to the doctor's office if I could, I'd walk and grab a train, I'd go to the zoo, like I had a very pedestrian lifestyle. So having a high quality stroller is super important because if I didn't have a high quality stroller to use, then I would find myself with a broken stroller very quickly. If you're looking for the best, I would say go with Bugaboo 100%. I would say check used markets because that is how you're going to get the best bang for your buck. And I would say don't hesitate to go to a high-end baby store and try it out and see what you think. And play with the fold. Make sure you can fold the stroller and you're comfortable with it. A lot of times people will get the bugaboos because they're amazing strollers and they'll be intimidated and never quite figure out how to fold it. So they'll have it in their lobby completely set up and it'll be in the way and it'll be annoying. Make sure you're comfortable with the fold. I know Eli at Magic Beans does a great job explaining how to do the community and a couple others so I can definitely link his stuff below but I will say the mono is awesome and I do prefer my bugaboo bee over the bugaboo donkey but once you have more than one kid and if you have winter terrain that you have to get through you need the bigger wheels you need the flexibility I do love the toddler board but that only works if your kids are the perfect age difference apart okay a two-year-old you can't really expect to even sit on a toddler board without falling off Right? They have to be three or four years old before that really makes sense. So if your kids are really close together, this is a good option. If you might have kids close together, you know, getting the mono doesn't hurt. Anyways, I hope you learned something in this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please let me know what you liked in the comments below. If you have any questions for me about what I think about Bugaboo Strollers, ask away. I'll tell you what I think and maybe it'll help you out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have yourself a good one. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Good times. Cheers.